through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, we'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead... ...it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream.
I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um, I should... Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. See like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Right. 
I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. feel better. All right, we should keep going. I want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I don't want to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. What are we at? The backup? Well, um. It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Noticed your, uh, traveling life <laughs> these days. <coughs> yeah. I, um... ran into some trouble when we were here. Locks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrow's ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. After you. <laughs> By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um... What happened after I left Meridia? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. <laughs> You were right about that. Looks like a dead end.
Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Another one's coming. reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras.
to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I, I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh. What's that stench? The entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to Dell for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. here brought this down as it went out if I can dislodge some of the debris we might be able to squeeze through maybe I can find something to help in the camp Aloy over here I think I got something it's some kind of Osram prototype I think this hook looks like it can latch onto things and this gear pulls it back hmm it looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. cable stronger than rope all right i think i have what i need to repair the tool or maybe even make something better you could use this workbench there a uh, pole caster now to test it on the debris Caster can take out the debris.
much better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Didn't turn up much. I better scan. I don't think a pulse for my focus is enough here. I better scan the area. Should activate my focus. Scan the area. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I think I'm doing this right. Wow. That works. That pull caster's useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Vara. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. 
the old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. The wilds have really grown over this place. Thanks to calling some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. <laughs> Moving off. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. There's its patrol path. Gotta get closer and stay out of sight.
Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. Ready whenever you want to strike. I've been meaning to mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Keep this for later. I guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Dismantled and it. Not blow yourself up. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, 
Maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Spotted us. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Keep going, man. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different.
a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Looks like we've got to climb up. You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. years old. <laughs> Looks like some kind of meeting room. The door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase Two. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself so she made me to bring her back I'm the only one who can and this place is my last hope you once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into all mother mountain was that this Gaia yes but she's not the goddess or there isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay?
Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. 